Hello, Year 13. Uh, Mr Holmes here. Um, as we approach the end of the year, um, I just wanted to say a massive thank you. Um, and you're probably wondering what that thank you is for. Well, I just want to thank you because usually at this time of year, um, I would be on constant alert for pranks. Um, you know the sort of thing. Um, you know, I'd come back and find my, my stapler had been um, sellotaped to the ceiling or, you know, uh, all my stationery had been cling filmed or, uh, I don't know, my car had been covered from head to foot in, in post-it notes. So that, that's the sort of thing. And there's lots of highly creative ways that these pranks have been done in the past. But do you know what? I, I just wanted to say thank you to you lot because I know that I can trust you um, not to do that sort of thing to me. You are the year group, the first year group I think I've ever had where I've got implicit trust that none of that stuff is going to happen. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you for not subjecting me to that this year. Um, it's great to have complete faith in an entire year group. I know I can trust every single one of you implicitly, and I know that this sort of thing, the sort of pranks, is just below you. So, um, and you'd never stoop to that sort of level, would you, any of you? So that's just fantastic. So thank you very much. Um, I think what I might do in the future is, is maybe use your year group as an example of how the end of the year should be approached. So, you know, um, everyone is calm, working hard, concentrating on getting the best results you can, um, which is exactly as it should be. So I'm not going to speak more now. Um, I'll talk to you more at the Leavers Assembly. Um, and But I just thought I'd just take the time to say thank you. So thank you so much for not pranking me and doing anything daft that uh, make me upset or put me on edge so i trust you all implicitly um it's been really good to see that that trust hasn't been misplaced okay so bye for now now that i've got that done i can get back on with my teacher assessed grades look out The departure of any Year 13 group is always a bittersweet moment for a school. It's the culmination of seven years of schooling for you and whilst we are all excited for you going out into the wide world to fulfil your potential, it is sad to see you leave school after seven years for one last time. I hope that you'll be able to fondly remember your time here at the Highfield School. You may not remember every aspect of the periodic table or even Pythagoras' theorem, but we hope that you will remember the times you laughed, the times you cried, the times that you were engaged in discovery and learning and really enthusiastic about it. And in particular, we hope that you remember the people that you shared that with, both your peers and of course the staff, because we will remember you. Whilst because of time, I haven't been able to share as many of those memories with you as I would have liked, I do remember certain things, one being the Christmas hampers and the, the effort and the benevolence that, and the organisation that really went into that. And I was just astounded by it and I will forever remember that moment. And I will forever be grateful and remember the fact that it was year 13 students that both interviewed me on the student panel, but also showed me around the school um, prior to my application and encouraged me to apply. And I will be forever grateful for that, so thank you. It certainly hasn't been the end to your schooling that it, neither I nor you would have imagined or wished for for you, but you really have faced challenges and adversity face on, and you should be really proud of your achievements and expect that, that some great results coming out of them. You're an outstanding group of students, full of fun and energy, and you're really supportive of each other, and that's been really obvious to me in this short time. And because of that, you will come out with the achievements that you want, being able to, fulfill, we hope, to fulfil your life in the way that you want to fulfil it. Finally, I would like to say goodbye and wish you all the best and every success and happiness in the future. And I would ask that you do keep in touch with our alumni and let us know how you're getting on. So take care and good luck in whatever endeavours you have in your future. So I can't believe that today is your last day of year 13. Your very first day of year seven was also my very first day at the Highfield School and what a seven years it has been. 
There's been so many memories. I've taught some of you um, Key Stage 3 uh, textiles or food, sometimes both of them. Um, some of you took it for GCSC textiles, and then some of you have stayed on and taken it at A level. And I also teach some of you graphics as well. So it's been quite a journey. We've had many memories, and I've written them all down on here. I've been keeping them over the years. There's quite a lot to get through. Um, so I hope um, I don't keep you too long. Um, so here we go. Bye everyone, good luck. Um, I hope your next stage of your life um, is just as good as the last seven or even better. Um, I wish you all the best. Take care everyone, bye. Hello lovely year 13s. I can't actually believe that you are going. Uh, it's been such a pleasure to know you. Uh, I really um, feel like it's such a shame that you missed out a lot of your year uh, or your two years uh, to the pandemic, but actually you've been a real, real pleasure to be around. Um, I especially will remember the Year 13 English Language Group and my um, bit of my form uh, when you started with me and then you had to move, you know, you moved to Year 13. Um, you've just been so strong, so... Uh, open-minded, so adventurous and original and I really really uh, hope that somehow you will keep in touch and you will update us on, on what you are doing. I wish you all the best. I wish that <clears throat> All of this sort of history in the making uh, that you were part of will one day be ancient history. And, uh, you know, one day when I'll bump into you uh, and hit an left if you're going to tell me what wonderful things you are doing with your lives. Um, good luck. You've been amazing. Keep being amazing. Keep being strong and resilient. And, um, yeah, just um, good luck on your exams. You are absolutely awesome. And we will miss you at Highfield. Take care, lovelies. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Year 13. I remember when I was your head of year. That's no longer the case. Best of luck with whatever you end up doing with your lives. Thank you. Hi, Year 13. Um, it's been amazing teaching you. Politics not for two years, history not for this year. Um, you're all great, great students, and I know you're going to have um, really fabulous futures. Um, I'm going to really miss our cake days a lot. Um, I'm really going to miss watching various different animals race in, you know, sometimes funny, sometimes questionable um, animal cruelty circumstances. Um, <laughs> but I wish you all the best for the future. Um, go out and live your lives and be amazing as I know you are. Bye. Hello, Year 13. It's Miss McRae here. Um, I just wanted to uh, do this little message. Um, to wish you the happiest, healthiest futures as you kind of move on out from year 13 and, and, and on to your next steps. Um, we are really sad to see you go. I'm really sad to see you go. Um, for many of you, you've had seven years um, at Highfield um, and we will really, really miss you. Um, do pop back and let us know um, how you're getting on. We always um, are keen to hear um, your news. Um, I just also wanted to say how uh, I, how impressed I've been, how amazing you have been in the face of particularly the last year, you know, of lockdowns, of restrictions, of no kettle, no microwave, a seating plan in the common room, masks on, outside at break and lunch, all of those things um, that we've had to do um, to keep um, everyone's safe and in the face of that your resilience and your um, your your adaptability um, and your focus on your studies in the face of all of those challenges has been absolutely incredible um, you know you should be really proud of yourselves I certainly am very proud of all of you um, so good luck um, in your in your future endeavors and in your next steps um, take the very best of care. Bye. I was just commenting to my cheer group this morning of uh, how much of a challenge I find talking to a video um, and just watching the Hustings videos for for, the, for next year. 
Um, so I apologise if this, uh, this is, uh, comes across as a bit rubbish. But um, I just wanted to say thank you very much to my tutor group for having me and making me feel so welcome. It's the first year for me at Highfield of being a year 13 tutor. So I didn't have the experience of working with you um, as a tutor group last year. Um, but you made me feel really welcome. It was very easy to get to know you very quick um, to, to find out. And we kind of had to do that because we needed to get references done as quickly as possible. So we were we were, we were kind of fighting um, a, 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 a battle um, all the way through um, to just get stuff done and get stuff um, sorted. So I'm really hopeful that all of you have felt that it's been a worthwhile and positive experience. I certainly have. I know COVID's got well in the way of this. And instead of seeing your lovely smiley sleepy faces in the morning um i get to see circles for a bit um and letters so you know but thank you very much for joining me on all of those and in in, in uh, um in indulging um my poor taste in music and uh, my amusing anecdotes in the mornings i hope that they uh, at least got you through a little bit better um all of you have done fantastically well this year it's been a real big challenge and i'm really really proud of all of you for getting through um, you've made it to the end um, and, and this is the end of your Highfield journey. So you should be really proud of yourself. Seven years um, in here, working hard for this final outcome. So I, I wish you all the best in your futures. Uh, I know you've uh, all got something sort of lined up, some really, really fantastic options lined up. I don't name names. I'm not, I'm not about that. But um, I wish all of you all the best with whatever it is that you choose to do in your futures. Um, and I just wanted to say once again, thank you very much for um, making me feel so welcome as a tutor. Uh, making tutor times uh, a pleasure to be part of and for some of you pointing out my mistakes and making sure that I didn't get it too wrong um, all the best in your futures good luck I uh, hope it all really works out for you and hopefully the world kind of relaxes a little bit and uh, gives you the opportunity to really excel in uh, in your chosen area so all the best and, uh, well done for well done for making it hi you 13 just wanted to send a quick message to wish you all the very best as you go on to whatever it is you're doing next. Um, you've been a really great year group and you've had to do your A-levels in very strange circumstances, but to have come through that is quite remarkable and I'm sure you'll all go on to do great things in the future. So all the very best with whatever you do and take care. Bye. Hi Year 13, um, just wanted to say best of best of luck um, with what you do next with your lives and your choices. Um, absolutely been fantastic to know you and to teach you. Um, one of my highlights of my week is teaching my Year 13 class. Um, absolute privilege. So I hope all of you um, go on to do whatever it is you want to do next. You, I hope you follow your heart as well as your head. Um, equally are important and I wish you every success and please don't define success narrowly okay it is whatever it, you want it to be so exciting times for you exciting future hopefully you will get to travel get to study get to meet people get to work um, and have a full and varied life and take those opportunities wherever you can um like i say it's been a pleasure and i hope that you stay in touch and you let us know how you're getting on you have certainly dealt with a huge amount and you should be very very proud of yourselves um for everything that you've achieved everything that you've um had to be flexible about and to adapt to well done thank you right, well good luck everybody i hope everything goes well and i hope you get what you wanted Bon voyage, bonne chance. <laughs> Goodbye, good luck everyone. Yeah, good luck for the future to all of you. Hi Year 13, it's been an absolute pleasure to be part of your sixth form team this year and to get to work with so many of you. It's certainly been an incredibly challenging year and I hope you're all very proud of having done your best and having reached the end of Year 13 and achieved your A-levels. If there's one thing you take away from me, from your time at Highfield. I hope that it's to value and prioritise your physical and mental health and to ask for help when you need it. I wish you every happiness and success in your future lives. Take care. Hello Year 13. Um, this is probably my 
20th attempt to try and record this video, so I've decided that however this goes, um, I'm going to send it to you anyway. Um, I'm really grateful to have this opportunity to say goodbye to you now, even though I can't see you. Hopefully you, you appreciate my words, um, because I didn't get to say goodbye to you when I left last year. And that was really painful um, for me, especially for the staff members who, who might be there um, hearing this message as well. I made some really good friends when I was there, and I also built some really good professional relationships with your year team, uh, your year group in particular. Um, so thank you. Uh, I, I have to mention, you know, the three Year 13 girls, Holly, Lucy and Erin. Thank you so much for making um, A-Level Drama fun and entertaining. It was really good and I really enjoyed it. And uh, again, really sorry I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. It, it happened so abruptly, but here we are. Um, I wish you all the best in whatever career path you choose. And I know you all, all three of you are going to be incredible because you're so hardworking and... Um, you're entertaining people as well, which I think is really, really important in life. Thank you to any of you in the year team who have been an Armstrong captain. It's an absolute privilege to be the, the, the head of Armstrong there. And I know that, you know, from the beginning of year seven, some of you have contributed no end, um, whether it be through parents' evenings or whole school events, you've always been there uh, to help out. And that's been very much appreciated. And finally, um, just to any of you that have been involved in any school productions over the years, um, they can be very stressful um, occasions for, for you guys and also for staff. And I think the best thing about the school productions is getting to see students um, in a different light, away from the pressures of school, away from the pressures of learning. And it gives you a chance to really um, show what you've got, whether it be technical skill, costume design or whatever. Um, it was a really great opportunity and I really hope that I get to uh, see some of you in some school productions again, but if not, at least have a beer with you in the, in the pub in the future. Um, all the best, take care of yourselves, and um, hopefully see you soon one day. Bye. Goodbye Year 13, you were Year 8 when I came here, and I can't believe how much you've grown. Um, I feel really sad that we haven't kind of had our final kind of year as it normally would have been but I really hope you leave Highfield with really happy memories and make the most of all of those opportunities that are out there. Grab them all and have a really great life. Hi, Year 13. Um, it feels like yesterday that I was teaching many of you in Year 8 and 9 and now you're leaving school. Um, it's been a real pleasure teaching so many of you over the years and uh, particularly inspiring those of you who were in my A-level class with a little bit of the uh, Red Army Choir. I'm sure you all love that very much. Good luck with whatever you're doing next. Hi Year 13. I can't believe that you guys are now leaving the school. When I joined the school, you were in Year 8. You were some of the smallest students in the school. Now, you are the oldest, wisest students in the school. It's been a privilege to teach you and get to know you over the, uh, over the years. Um, you're a, a great group. Uh, I wish you all the best in, in the future that you've got ahead of us uh, and ahead of you. Stay in touch and we'll, we'll hopefully um, go on and hear about the, the wonderful things that you've gone on uh, and done. Well done. Hi, Year 13. Thank you, Holly, for allowing me to be part of your Leavers video. I would always look back on our year together in year 12 with many fond and happy memories. I would often share with staff and leash your team about how focused and motivated and hardworking you were. Um, Holly's asked me to give a few memories of, of that year group. Uh, these include Tom Simcox and his card school. This was a group of students who were generally hardworking, professional and quiet during the day, but suddenly at lunchtime became this boisterous, lively, competitive, noisy group uh, at lunchtimes in the common rooms. To the Chuckle Sisters, Beth and Brooke, who were supposedly taking photography coursework as they took pictures around the school and not working in the common room. Phoebe Parker, who made a particular table and the corner of her common room Hers, that was not allowed to be used from eight o'clock to five o'clock in the evening. The May Ball Committee, where we spent more time deciding which is the best way to have a Weetabix cereal or the best crisps, and actually thinking about what fundraising we would have. Um, 
the Burdett Queen uh, uh, sisters who brought in biscuits every Friday when it sometimes allow me to, um, to indulge in some of those. Annie Sal for constant thumbs up all the time. I still have that picture. And of course, Jack Stadden, who famously won the Alarm Clock Award for his impeccable timing to get into school. There are other memories, but I won't bore you with those. I just wish you all the best, whatever career path you take in terms of it being an apprenticeship or university or employment. I just wish you all the best. It's been not an easy two years for you. And I'm sure with the help of Mr. Holmes, you come out well and you will be successful. Think of those dreams, work towards them, and I wish you all the best. Take much care. Bye-bye. So long and well, well he did say goodbye and you to you and you. first and then I'll have a practice and then go through the process, edit out all the bits that make me look stupid. Hi Year 13's 2021. In the seven years that you have been here, I think that I have had the pleasure, nay, the legal obligation of teaching nearly all of you at some stage or another. As an English teacher, I find one thing particularly interesting about you as a year group is, uh, is the language that you have brought to my classrooms. And I shall explain these. Firstly, amongst you, there are a large number of nouns. We've got the plurals of brothers and barns, and we have a range of uh, singular nouns. There's a crane, a bell, a sail, and a white lock. A white, a white lock. On top of that, we have a range of proper nouns, Names for names. Well, I've got Brett and Edwards and Ireland and a Lloyd. Very, very clever of you. We've also got a variety of adverbs amongst you. We've got Stutely, Oakley and Hayley. How are they adverbs? You st she stood Stutely opposing the threat. Although the tree did not have acorns, it was Oakley. It's a bit Haley outside. That's an adjective. As well as that. Okay, here we go. As well as that. Okay. There's a variety of you who are grammatically incorrect comparatives. After all, one cannot be said to be feeling fuller. One needs to be more full. Equally so, one does not feel weller. One feels better. If a room is said to have additional Jayakum, it can't be Jayakuma, it must be more Jayakum. We've got a range of occupational names. If we need a house built, well, we've got a smith, a cooper, a slater, and a lead beater amongst you. <laughs> and of course, if we need any Allens cooked in the not too distant future, then we're covered there as well, aren't we? Uh, we have a range of names of synonymity. There's Blythe. Uh, there's the Stearns. Uh, there's a Cambo. How is that? Okay, I'll look it up. And then also Fur. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she'll appreciate that one. And what's this one? Master Tom... But I don't get that one. I don't understand. Just take that one out. As well as that, we have one of my favourite genres, the superhero alliterative names. We've got Billy Brown, Charlie Chowles, Harrison Hensby and Pahibi Parker. Possibly the most interesting aspect as an English teacher is the challenging vocabulary that you bring to a classroom. Eva Macau Eva Macai Sophia 
Maya It's not the saying of the names that's the problem. It's the trying to stop saying them once you get started. Anyway, year 13. As you leave here and go into the big wide world, you will find that there are many, many successes and failures that you will be facing. Of your successes, you need to remember that your teachers have played a certain part in you achieving those things, so be grateful to them. Of your failures, you probably weren't listening during those lessons. Good luck. Yeah, if you edit out all the bits that just make me seem like I'm an idiot and leaving the bits that make me, it feels like it's coming from the heart. Yeah? Sweet. Yeah. No, I don't. Drama, because I enjoy drama and it's really fun. I like all the, I don't know what I like. <laughs> My best moment at high school so far was Sport, uh, I don't know, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> <laughs>